I just got back to America. I was back, I was in the UK. I was back in England visiting my family for the last three, four weeks. Uh, and when I left, we were laughing at your politics. <laughs> I'm like, oh, look at those stupid Americans, can't be trusted with democracy. <laughs> God, look at the mistake they're about to make, fucking idiots. <laughs> so, sorry, everyone. Sorry if any of you had a pension or savings or anything. Sorry we just broke the world. <laughs> God, it was such a disaster. And here's how you know it was a disaster. No one who was for it was actually for it. Like, none of the politicians who were campaigning for Brexit really expected or wanted it to happen. It was just a power play. And then it happened. Like, here's how you can tell. I don't know if you, like, but firstly, they all resigned. <laughs> Straight up. But if, even if you saw them, like, the day after. Like, look it up. Look on the news. Look on YouTube. Just Google it. Look at their faces, like Boris Johnson and Michael Gove, the leaders of Brexit, and see their faces after they won the referendum. Because they don't look like a politician who just won an election. They look like a construction worker who saw a woman shout her, show us your titties, and she did. <laughs> so, oh, that wasn't meant to happen. This wasn't about results. This was about power. I just wanted to feel big and make someone else uncomfortable. Like this is, put them away. <laughs> Cause we were, like everyone in Britain was so smug about your fucking Trump and everything. Which is still, like this is still, the American elections right now, this is still the most ridiculous American elections like ever. <laughs> and, and by the way, I mean ever. I'm not, I'm, like, I'm not talking our lifetime. I mean, I'm counting like the ones in the 1800s where they're like, vote for me, I fought a bear. <laughs> I have the biggest hat. <laughs> I hear this man shook hands with a Chinaman. Because it's astonishing. Because Trump has got this far, like almost to the top with nothing. Like, I've never known that in politics, to, for someone to get that far, be that successful, without a single policy, without a single idea. It's amazing. Like, what are your foreign policies? The best! <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you going to do? Fix it! <laughs> Make it right, win! How are you going to handle ISIS? Oh, I can't tell you. <laughs> that would be giving it away. Like, he got, like, that's his argument. Oh, I can't tell. Oh, but it'll be good. You just trust me. Oh, He's like the kid at school who claims he knows karate, but won't show you any moves. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you get close to me. I'm warning you. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. I can't. I could kill you with a single chop. I swore. I swore I wouldn't to my sensei. Like, it's, it's nothing. 